Hi, this is Nate from GamesKeys.net. In this video, I'll be sharing the story of Bramble, the Mountain King game. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Okay, let's dive right in. Game starts with a little boy named Ole waking up from a dream. He notices his sister's bed, but she's not there. Ole goes out to the forest through the window to search for his sister. While walking in the forest, he discovers a key from a matchbox inside a hut. Next, Ole falls into a sewer where he discovers a shiny stone held by a statue of a girl. He takes a stone and continues forward, hearing the sound of music that he follows. He finds Littlemore at the top of the mountain and gives the stone to his sister. Both begin playing with the shiny stone. While playing, they fall from the edge of the peak. Sliding downwards, they eventually arrive at the Gnome Garden, greeted by a sunny day. They proceed to explore the garden. Continuing on, they encounter a friendly community of many creatures. Ole plays hide and seek with them, enjoying their company. They bid farewell to the gnomes and continue on their journey. They encounter the Frog King, and Ole forms a friendship with him. While Littlemore is standing on a large stone, a troll appears and puts her into a sack. The big troll tries to capture Ole as well, but the little boy leaps into the river to escape. Although Ole doesn't know how to swim, the Frog King rescues him. Ole wants to search for his sister and find a way home. He greets a gnome and assists him with the doll, hoping the gnome will give him a key in return. After unlocking the door with the gnome's help, Ole moves forward. While traveling along the path, he encounters a monstrous rat that is both ugly and dangerous. Trying to escape from the monster, Ole continues onward. He falls into a foul-smelling sewer and discovers gnomes locked in a cage. He frees them. The gnomes help him open a heavy door. Meanwhile, the big troll arrives, destroys the gnome's home, and begins to chase Ole. While fleeing from the troll, Ole falls into a pit and continues onward through a decaying waste tunnel. Ole is captured by the monster rat, who puts him in a cage. Ole manages to drop the cage, causing its door to open and freeing himself. He then meets Lamus, who becomes Ole's friend, and helps him find his way forward. Ole retrieves a shiny stone, but the troll catches up and traps him. Just as the troll is about to eat Ollie, he turns to stone as the morning light breaks. In the sunlight, the troll becomes frozen. Ole breaks free from the troll's grip and continues on his way. Now Ole explores further while assisting gnomes. Later, Ole hears magical music that mesmerizes him, causing him to lose control and follow its tune. While navigating a dark path, he arrives at a bright shore. The music is revealed to be the sound of a violin played by a demon. The demon notices Ole and attempts to capture him, but Ole narrowly escapes. To shield himself from the waves of music, Ole covers his ears and continues forward. He then discovers a book detailing the story of the demon named Nakin. Nakin was initially a good man who loved playing the violin, but he began to play forbidden melodies after being bullied by villagers. Upon hearing these melodies, all the villagers danced until they dropped dead. Nakin's lover also perished after hearing these lethal melodies. Heartbroken, Nakin carried her body into the jungle and continued to play these haunting melodies. Fleeing from the demon, Ole jumps into the river, but the demon continues to chase him. The demon catches up to Ole, but they both plunge down the waterfall, and Ole escapes from the demon's clutches. Ole encounters Tuva, who revives him with her magical powers. Guided by the stone's light, Ole continues onward. He discovers a massive statue of the king, climbs it, and continues onward. Ole reunites with Lamus and seeks his help to proceed. He arrives at a cottage where he finds a book describing a ritual for sacrificing human lives. He encounters a witch who is preparing to sacrifice herself and her child. Ole attempts to save them, but despite his efforts, the witch commits suicide and drowns her child. He buries the child and feels profoundly saddened. Next, Ole encounters Likguba, an ancient woman as old as the mountain itself. Guided by her, Ole arrives at a library where he discovers a book about King Nils. The king's wife dies while giving birth to their child. One day, the king's son, Ulrich, falls ill, and the king learns of a mythical flower believed to cure any illness rumored to be in the possession of witches. The king embarks on a witch hunt. Despite defeating many witches, he fails to locate the flower. Trailing the shadow of his sister, Ole encounters a witch. After a fierce battle, he manages to defeat her with the help of the shiny stone. However, after brutally killing the witch, 
Ole recognizes the extent of his transformation and begins to cry before continuing his journey. Ole reaches a town where witches were once severely tortured. He retrieves the keys from the deceased witch's chair and moves forward by unlocking the door. A plague had ravaged this town, turning the inhabitants into zombies. Ole navigates through the zombies, avoiding them. He then discovers a hut containing a book that recounts the tale of a beautiful woman, the shapeshifter monster. In their search for this woman, the villagers mistreated and abused all the women in the town. He encounters another hut and retrieves a key. With this key, he unlocks the door to a cottage and moves forward. Later on, he discovers another key clutched in the hand of a deceased body. Continuing his journey, he encounters a book that recounts the story of the plague that swept through the village. Ole discovers a boat and tries to escape the village with it. However, an old woman responsible for spreading the plague in the village appears on the boat with him. She attempts to control Ole's mind, alternating between attacking him and trying to devour him. Ole fights back and ultimately defeats her, continuing his journey on the boat until he reaches the mountain. Upon reaching the summit, Ole uses the stone to make a path to the mountain. He enters the mountain halls and then returns to the library, where he reveals the next chapter of the king's tale. Exhausted and desperate, the king seeks out a witch's house and pleads with her to cure his son. The witch agrees to assist him and instructs him on how to use the flower for the cure. The king returns to his castle and initiates the treatment using a single petal as instructed by the witch. His son begins to recover, but many of the people who witness the king's actions begin to despise him. Someone assassinates his son. Consumed by grief and madness, the king uses the entire flower on himself, unleashing chaos through the village. The witch visits the king and the prince, and upon witnessing the tragedy, she places a massive mountain over the castle. She traps the king inside, and trolls are tasked with feeding him as punishment. Meanwhile, Ole uncovers a hidden door in the library and dons the prince's attire. He arrives at the castle's main door, which has been sealed shut for eternity, and proceeds to the king's table. There, he finds his sister, still in the sack where the troll had placed her. Just then, the troll responsible for feeding the king appears. The troll places Lillimore directly into the king's mouth. At that moment, the king awakens and inadvertently kills and eats the troll. The king then attempts to eat Ole, but Ole, having become quite adept at survival in the jungle, evades all his attacks. Using his shiny stone, Ole shatters the brambles encircling the king. As the brambles weaken, the king sees clearly for the first time in centuries. The mountain king pushes the table aside and destroys the mythical flower hidden beneath it. Using the king's sword, Ole climbs up and grabs onto the king's beard, pulling him toward himself. He then hurls the stone toward the king's open mouth. The stone enters the king's mouth while he falls. Lillimore wields the stone like a sword, cutting open the king's belly and emerging from it. She then approaches her brother, and the light from the stone enters Ole's chest, reviving him. With the king now dead, his prison begins to crumble. Lillimore lifts Ole to make their escape, and Lamus arrives there to assist them. Thank you for joining us on this incredible adventure with Ole and Lillimore. If you enjoyed this story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tales and adventures.